Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to another video. We all know what's strong in 2v2, whether that be from playing ourselves, watching streams, or taking note of our very own tier lists here at Skillcapped. We all know what makes these comps strong, but what actually counters them? Well, we hit up our rank one consultants and ask them to share what counters their compositions. Welcome to Counter the Meta. The five strongest and most popular comps in the meta right now are Destro Healer, which we'll be taking a look at both the Resto Druid and Holy Priest versions of, Assassination Disc Priest, Demon Hunter Resto Druid, or Restoration Shaman, Windwalker Holy Paladin, and lastly, Survival Holy Paladin. To kick things off, we're going to begin with probably the most popular 2v2 comp out there, which is Destro Lock paired up with a Resto Druid. This is considered by many to be the strongest composition on paper. The high threat and durability of a Destro Warlock paired up with the consistent restell stuns from a Resto Druid make a great pairing. But what does good versus this comp? Well, Assassination Discipline Priest is the biggest and possibly only counter to this comp. To combat a Destro Warlock, you need one thing, Lockdown. Rogues bring the most lockdown in the entire game. A six second kick, a six second kidney shot, and even the ability to step behind to avoid bolts. This can make it impossible for the enemy Destro Warlock to get out any real pressure. This priest can also pick up double the spell, making removing spam fears, coils, or even roots a much easier task. The addition of an offensive purge is also detrimental to the Destro Warlock Restoration Druid comp, having the ability to remove thorns and hots when you have pressure. To completely counter this comp though, you have have to play a certain way, having your priest remain at the pillar for the entirety of the game, looking to get out as much damage while avoiding all damage himself. As the rogue, your game plan is relatively the same, deal as much damage as you can before then retreating back. Rotate your kidney shot into kick, then simply step back to the pillar. This is what makes this such a good counter. The rogue can lock the destro down for 12 seconds and then just run back to the pillar. If the enemy ever decides to push into you, you can just hit them and line of sight while doing so, as the longer this game goes, the easier it becomes to win. So this is why it is the best option. But what about the Holy Priest version? Well, this comp has different strengths. It does insanely well in the melee teams due to the power of Greater Heal. You can't stop Chaos Bolt and also then stop Greater Heal, so it makes scoring kills almost impossible unless you want to train the Holy Priest and to get hit in the face by a 400k Chaos Bolt. The power of Greater Heal also stops this comp ever really being dampened, so what counters it? Well, Holy Priest's major weakness is actually against casters, especially those bringing CC, interrupting Greater Heal with multiple CCs from range, and then following it up with a counter spell or spell lock makes them a lot easier to deal with than if you're a melee. With this in mind, the biggest counter to Destro Warlock Holy Priest is actually, funnily enough, Destro Warlock Resto Druid. Yeah, it's almost as if the only way to beat a Destro Warlock is with a Destro Warlock. All jokes aside, let's take a look at why. Generally, how this matchup will pan out is that both Destro Warlocks end up playing around the same pillar. This way, the Resto Druid team can avoid all smites, so preventing the lower cooldown stuns coming from the Holy Priest. But with no way to easily stop the Resto Druid getting restyles, they can still consistently look for stuns to secure bolts or stop greater heals. Since such an insane amount of Holy Priest healing comes from greater heal, if you're not casting greater heal, then you have next to no healing going out. This makes recovering from dangerous situations almost impossible. Whereas Druids have their Hots, Swift Men, and just a ton of ways to recover. All that needs to happen in this matchup is that you get some pressure, CC the Holy Priest a few times on Greater Heal with Stuns, Fears, Coil, or even Spell Lock, and the game is just over. There is honestly just no aspects that the Holy Destro wins out on in this matchup. They lose on damage, they lose on healing, they lose on CC, and because of this, it makes Destro Warlock Resto Druid the biggest counter to its Holy Priest counterpart. The next composition on our tier list is the ever popular Assassination Discipline Priest, a staple of the 2v2 for as long as I can remember. This comp brings great lockdown, high consistent damage, great setup damage, and is one of the most versatile comps out there. Generally, it can do well against almost every comp on the ladder, but it still has its biggest counter, which is actually Survival Hunters. Although almost every survival Survival Hunter Healer comp is a counter, the hardest to face is when paired up with a Holy Paladin. Survival as a spec itself is just insanely good against Rogue. Assassination relies a lot on bleeds to do damage. Survival can remove these with one ability in Mending Bandage, while also having Tracker's Net to reduce all the Rogue's damage entirely. Survival can also easily kite and deal damage to the Rogue from range. 
Survival also offers very high mix damage, though either just Cloak or Evasion is often not enough to survive. It can also counter Vanish with Flare. It's almost as if Survival Hunter's kit was built to counter rogues. Assassination is one of the few melees with very limited sustainability, relying on long cooldowns to survive. While Survival has some of the highest consistent damage in the game, paired up with some of the best CC, so the constant stun traps onto your healer will eventually whittle you down. This will also cause your priest to be behind for the majority of the game, though unable to offer anything offensively, which is one of the key aspects of this comp. And all of that is without even covering what Holy Paladin brings. Add the ability to bop off blind or vendetta coupled with the two combined freedoms to kite, and the added instant stuns to secure freezing traps make Survival Hunter Holy Paladin the ultimate counter to Assassination Discipline Priest. Next up, Demon Hunters are a staple of 2v2, and we all hate facing them either paired up with Resto Druid or Resto Shaman. The ability to mana burn with some of the highest consistent damage makes them a nightmare for almost any healer to deal with. So how do we counter Demon Hunters? Demon Hunter Resto Druid's biggest counter is Survival Hunter Restoration Druid. While other Survival Hunter healer comps can do well, the hardest matchup for a Demon Hunter is the Restoration Druid version. What makes this such a counter then? Well, Survival Hunters are one of the most proficient specs at killing Resto Druids. They're able to keep up very high consistent damage, pressure on a druid even from range, negating a druid's ability to kite. As they also do a lot of magic damage, it makes bear form almost useless. So you can't utilize bear form, can't kite, it's only a matter of time until a survival hunter kills a druid. Survival is also one of the best classes at countering melee classes, and demon hunters fall victim to this more than most classes. The consistent onslaught of roots and traps with the druid consistently going for clones or restyles off makes it impossible for the demon hunter to ever maintain uptime, let alone create any pressure that sticks. So you lose the healer race, you lose going on the hunter, and this is the most impossible matchup to exist and makes the overpowered demon hunter look useless. The restoration shaman version though has a few different strengths and weaknesses. With shamans being a little more durable when trained, they're not as vulnerable to survival hunters as druid would be. The biggest counter to the Resto Shaman version of this comp is actually Discipline Priest Assassination Rogue. Restoration Shamans and Demon Hunters are two classes that are generally quite hard to train down, which is one of the major strengths of this comp. Resto Shamans have their pack spirit, and Demon Hunters have their self-healing and mobility. Well, Assassination Discipline Priest brings some of the highest damage in the game, paired up with a Mortal Strike effect to counter some of the self-healing and even consistent stuns to counter a Demon Hunter's mobility. Resto Shamans really struggle when healing high single target pressure, and that's exactly what this comp brings. Although the Demon Hunter does have the benefit of mana burn, if the Priest plays well and line of sights with the Demon Hunter, it can be a challenge to secure burns, and the Rogue can always hold his own stun to play around burns. This means that you can't really stick to the Priest as the Demon Hunter and the Rogue will just end up out pressuring you, resulting in one of the hardest matchups for DH Resto Shaman. All right, our next premier 2v2 composition is going to be Windwalker Holy Paladin. This is one of the highest pressure comps in the game, the high damage of a Windwalker and Holy Paladin combined with their abundance of strong defensive cooldowns makes this powerhouse a force to be reckoned with. Doing extremely well into Disc Priests especially, Windwalker Holy Paladin meets a brick wall when facing their hardest counter which is Holy Priest Destro Warlock, while doing generally well into Destro Warlocks thanks to Tiger Eye Brew negating a lot of the added armor a Warlock obtains, Holy Priest just doesn't care, as long as they can cast, they will keep the Warlock alive. Holy Paladin Windwalker lacks one key aspect, and that's crowd control and lockdown. And with the only real way to counter Holy Destro being crowd control and interrupts, it makes it almost impossible to disrupt the priest enough to secure a kill, or even interrupt enough bolts to stay out and get pressure. This just results in you having pretty much no win condition. The priest can just sit there, spam smites, and reset his stun to interrupt Fists of Fury, while the Warlock after your short kicks down can just freely cast. Not to mention just how strong Holy Ward is in this matchup, with no way to easily remove it other than wasting one of your long cooldown CC spells like Paralyze, Hammer of Justice, or even Leg Sweep due to its 30 second cooldown and 30 second uptime. If you even attempt to go on the priest, he can easily survive, rotating his Holy Ward and Greater Fade to counter all of your pressure. You simply don't have enough CC to deal with this comp. While taking Repentance can be an option, it's easily avoidable and wasting time trying to get one will just cause you to fall even further behind tanking the Destro's damage. All of this results in an impossible matchup for the Windwalker Holy Paladin, and it is one of the biggest counters in the game. Alright, our last composition for this video that we'll be covering is the popular Survival Hunter Holy Paladin. This composition pairs up high consistent damage with strong CC coming from Hammer of Justice and Freezing Trap. While being one of the best compositions against Melee Healer, this comp again struggles with one 
one specific caster healer comp, that being Destro Warlock Holy Priest. Survival Holy Paladin looks to win by combining their damage with easy to secure CC, creating a ton of pressure. Well, Holy Priest is one of the hardest classes to CC in the game. If you don't have a spammable CC or purge due to their Holy Ward, and with Holy Paladin Survival bringing neither of those, their whole entire win condition is negated. Without their CC, you're unable to go toe to toe with a Destro Warlock, nor are you able to create enough with just damage to out pressure a Holy Priest healing. Appeals and threat of a Destro Warlock also make it an uphill battle if you try to kill the Holy Priest, having spammable fear, foil, and just their general kill pressure. Not to mention, you still just don't have enough ways to easily interrupt and deal with greater heal. Destro Holy Priest is just generally good against melee, but having no way to easily remove Holy Ward puts the icing on the cake for this incredibly hard counter. All right. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and we hope you enjoy. 